Okay, everybody. So I've been getting uh, a couple of kids contacting me, uh, having the same issue over and over. And um, this, what I like to do is create a video when there's a technical issue so that we can put it out there and at least give you guys uh, an idea of how to solve it. All right. So um, let me show you how this works. So launchpad.classlink.com forward slash seals. I've had you guys go here over and over. Opens our class link up. From here, like whenever you log in during the day, and I would always recommend that you restart your computer. Um, if you have not shut it down for the evening, restart it so that you start fresh. All right. Come in here, click my files. You want to verify that when you come down here to manage services, <clears throat> there we go, that this has a green check next to it. I, I've not had kids where this is kicking you off, but we need to make sure that it's right. And that kind of checks that off the list of things that we're going to make sure are functional. So go ahead and check that. Um, go back to class link. And actually what I should mention is if it, if it doesn't have a green check, disconnect it and reconnect it. All right. So I should have said that. Um, when you go back into here, I want you to choose the remote application. I'm going to go ahead and log in with your email address and your password. And before you open Photoshop, before you open SolidWorks or any other program, what you have to do is basically jumpstart Drive File Stream. And this is it right here, right? So I've had you guys open this in the past. You have to open it every time you get in here just to make sure it's all working. And most of the time, the reason why you guys can't connect your Google files to um, Classroom is because this hasn't been enabled. It has to be done every day. So when I click this and say allow, as we go through here, this is probably going to turn black. It does almost every single time. It's not supposed to, but that's what it does. So not a big deal. There's a workaround for that. Oh, now mine didn't do it, right? So the one time I tell you it always does that, it didn't. Um, if it turned black, what you have to do is come over here and click and then hit drive file stream. Just hit it again and basically restart it. Now, if you guys were paying attention as mine opened, you saw that something popped up on the screen there about the G drive. And that's not a good thing, unfortunately. Um, if you just say OK, and you go back into here, all resources, and you open Drive File Stream again, it's going to pop up again. Um, I've never had this happen on my computer today before. Um, it's obviously happening today, which is why I'm making this video. So the bad news is I cannot fix this. This is an issue that requires our tech support to fix. So um, what you guys can do is if this happens, don't contact me and say my G drive is not accessible because I can't fix it. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. Um, if it if it's something that has to do with ClassLink and, and Google Drive, I can pretty much fix most of those issues. Um, on the other hand, with this right here, I'm unable to fix this. So what I'll have you guys do is go into uh, your Outlook or your email program, and I'll have you email tech support and be very descriptive about what's going on. My, my G, you can even take a screenshot and put it on there. G is not accessible, access is denied. Can you guys please take a look at it and fix it, All right? And they will get back to you and tell you what's going on. Um, I will also put <clears throat> the email address that they would like to use um, in the post where I'm gonna put this video. I'm not gonna have it on here for all to see. Um, I'll just put it in that post within my Google Classroom. So you guys have a, a good day and I hope that this, fixes any issues that we may be having with it.